Today, the pill is a safe and super common form of birth control, but setting the groundwork for what we have available today took time and experimentation. The history of the pill was also shaped by racism in an era where discrimination was not just state-sanctioned, but backed by many scientific institutions. So in this episode of Tiny Matters, we talk about the science and development of the pill, but importantly, we also talk about the lack of ethics in its testing, particularly in trials in Puerto Rico that began in 1955. Check out this clip with Annette Ramirez de Arellano. Puerto Rico was trying to get out of poverty and there was a real change in terms of the economic basis of the society. And women had a greater role to play because so many of the industries depended on basically female labor. In those days, if it was a garment industry, it was mostly women that were employed. It was just a combination of factors. And then the scientists in the United States began developing the pill, you know, Gregory Pincus, but John Rock was also instrumental in getting this set up. They were looking for what they called a cage of ovulation females. The word experimental was not used. The, the word was new. And that was seen as something exciting, that they were going to be part of this sort of discovery that was going to make women's lives easier and better and give them a greater sense of control over the reproduction. 